Okay, so hey guys, um, I've spent like the last uh, thinking about a million ways on how I'm going to start this video or like what I'm going to say. <laughs> this by far is, oof. yeah, um, this by far is going to be one of the most awkward, uncomfortable, weird um, videos I'd I think I'd ever have to film and then edit but we're just gonna do it um, um, I wanted to give you guys like a quick life update sort of if that makes sense if you guys see me laughing that's my coping mechanism Whew. So that's how I kind of like brush off emotion but we're just gonna do like a quick um, life update because I don't want this video to be very lengthy I don't want it to be too emotional and I'm gonna have to turn off my whew. um so yeah I'm gonna have to turn off my comment section just for personal reasons um I just I don't, I don't know what I'm saying like I feel like I kind of have what I want to say in my head but then I don't know how to start saying it if that makes sense you know so where do I begin this I want this to be like a five minutes like quick like updated video so that I can like kind of like get through it if that makes sense um where do I begin okay so let me just start from the beginning because I think that's kind of what makes sense in my head on the 1st of October today is the 14th of October actually there's so many emotions going through me right now put my emotions in a bottle and just deal with it if that makes sense so yeah today's 14th of October today's my husband's birthday yay yay um, 1st of October, um, we traveled, I, I traveled cause I was the only girl. I traveled with the guys, let me quote unquote the guys, the men, them. Um, I traveled, I traveled with them to, um, Akwai Bomb, Uyo. And it was supposed to be an amazing weekend. And, you know, Hobby already planned content for the entire, you know, weekend. It was going to be a content filled weekend. So, um, I think we got there, we got there very early in the morning, um, had an eventful day and that, yeah, that day was eventful. Um, I don't, okay. So whew, we didn't sleep till like about 12, one ish. And I remember like getting a distress call from one of my brothers okay i got a call from <sighs> okay so i got a call from my brother my immediate elder brother at around i think 3 30. this is so hard to film and i'm trying to like keep it cool because like the more i'm saying it the more you know but feeling emotional and all of that but yeah basically um we got a call that my one of my brothers had collapsed you guys wouldn't believe that i've been recording this video i've been trying to record like this first intro part for like 40 minutes <laughs> i've just been going off and on so basically um yeah that's what he said and i remember like we were all like panicking kind of so we immediately had to like move our flight to the first flight going back to lagos and started praying this was weird because then I remember like I just wasn't at peace like I was just nervous so on getting to the plane and um, we boarded you know we were still good because I, I left with a couple of my husband's friends like I got a message like you know those weird messages that people send and someone was like sorry for your loss <laughs> I remember like I almost broke down in the plane you know when you don't have shame I literally started breaking down I was thinking like how am I going to remove my wig unbutton my dress naked myself and just start literally running mad on the plane you know so I was trying to hold myself for a while because it wasn't making sense and elder brother called who is a medical doctor and was like you know everything's fine everything's fine 
So, like, after talking to my brother for, like, a minute, he was able to calm me down and kind of just said that, like, he's just unconscious, right? That he fainted. And at that point, that made sense because it was better than, like, what I heard at first. And I remember thinking, like, um, in summary... After we landed, um, we went straight to my family house, which was a bit weird. I should have suspect. I actually did suspect that, but I was just being a little bit optimistic. And okay, so I'm trying to like take like, like, how do I put it? Breaks every one minute just to calm myself down, so I don't get hysterical or I don't like. Yeah, so getting getting home, um, that's kind of like when they broke the news. I feel so uncomfortable right now. <laughs> okay, so basically, I lost my brother that morning. Yeah, so that was like the second of on the second of October. Um, I went ahead to turn off the comment section off because. <sighs> just because like for personal reasons because it's, it's been like almost two weeks now and like till now like when people call me or when I get messages I I kind of like freak out not really freak out I just get a little bit tensed because I know kind of know what it's about so it's like getting calls getting messages it's sort of like you know when you're healing and then you kind of take a knife and then you keep like piercing that injury and then when he heals again you pierce that and like it's like a constant pain that keeps reopening and keeps like becoming fresh each time someone calls or each time like you get like a pop of message pop up message sorry so like the first week that happened um, I couldn't, I could, I could even barely sleep. That was even by the side. I couldn't even like pick up calls. Cause I was like, I know, I, I get, I get that people want to kind of sympathize and empathize with you. But trust me, having to hear that over and over again, like it's the hardest thing to do if that makes sense. Um, reading messages like I could like I I still know how that feels like my heart like it feels like my heart skips a beat like because I could be out of it like for five minutes and then that message kind of brings me back to reality that okay this is reality this is you know it um I'm really holding myself from not stopping this video and just getting through it and kind of leaving if that makes sense so like we're still very kind of confused as to what happened you know we're still waiting for like the official autopsy report and it's it's not making sense if that makes sense but yeah that's it it's in a nutshell um i turned off my comment section because I know that I know I feel like I'm going to be getting a lot of sorries and I'm kind of tired of hearing that. I feel like I'm probably going to be stuck in the comment section and reading and then like going over it. I just, I mean, the best thing anyone can do for you in this situation is just to kind of remain positive utter positive words and be a form of strength if that makes sense so i'd rather you kind of the best thing you can do for me at this point is to pray for my family and i for strength mm. um yeah I feel like, I feel like, you know, when I can't even look, you know, when you can't look at someone directly into the eyes, that's how I feel like now. I feel like I'm just like looking everywhere else because it's so uncomfortable. 
So we've surrounded ourselves. We're lucky enough to have a community of people that just always want to uplift us. And I'm so grateful for family, friends, literally everyone. Yeah, that's basically it. Um, that's, that's my sucky life update. This month was just... So I'm going to try as much as possible to get out of this mood. Just that talking about it, thinking about it is... <laughs> Oof, is one of the most uncomfortable, hard. Like, it's just, I don't know what word to use it, describe it, because it's. But we're trying to, but we're, I think I'm, I feel like I'm just saying rubbish. Well, we're, we're trying to stay strong and as much as possible, like, distract ourselves, you know, from this, if that makes sense. You know, it was, it's so hard to not just let the emotions overwhelm you. I mean, it's so easy to just, for me to just lay in bed all day and just keep sulking. Even though, like, sometimes that's what I want to do. But it's not healthy. Physically and mentally, it's not healthy. So, I'm trying to distract myself. Luckily, I filmed a lot of content last month. Oh, you know, when I talked about like batch content creation, I filmed a lot of content last month. Um, I have about 10 to about 14 videos, vlogs inclusive. I think I'm going to start putting them out maybe tomorrow or next because I genuinely, genuinely just want to distract myself and, you know, have things that I'm doing. Well, I don't think I can film. I don't think I have the strength to film, at least not this month so maybe till next month but this month i'm going to focus on editing and putting out the videos that i already have edited and then just you know engaging with you guys down in comment section kind of hear what you guys say i have a lot of content amazing content actually that i think would be helpful also entertaining so yeah um i'm looking forward to that distraction so i'm gonna keep posting content but i i don't think i have the physical and emotional strength to record i'm even proud of myself that i actually like i actually did this i'm like standing i'm sitting down in front of my camera and i'm recording and i'm smiling so i'm so proud of myself for that we've kind of overcome like one hurdle so like yay so that's about it guys i think that is about it like my orientation of life and what this world is about like it literally like somersaulted um so yeah um that's about it i can't wait to see you guys in my next video um this is not typically the kind of videos i enjoy filming i was kind of contemplating on whether to film this video or not but i felt like it would be weird if at least i don't have it out there because i know that i might break down next month and then like i i just wanted to be there so that way at least people can understand if that makes sense i do appreciate you guys thanks for watching sorry this was awkward this was very uncomfortable for me to film. I really don't like feeling and being vulnerable like this. But yeah, this, yeah. May you find joy and peace every single day of your life. And may God's love just keep radiating around you. So I'll see you guys in my next one. Till then, stay fabulous and stay blessed. Bye, guys.